on today's episode see of the Inch. Wow, oh, look at it. I'm kind of a little late starting this video. I had a antifreeze leak and I couldn't tell where it was coming from. I thought it was coming from the hoses that go to the heater core. And it was very slight for probably the last six months. And then in the last month it got real bad. And I could see antifreeze running down a bell housing and all over the bottom of the car, especially if you like jump on it and get the RPMs up. You can see the antifreeze really flowing out. So I kind of figured it might have been this hose that runs down. I didn't know where it went. Took my little camera that hooks to the Android and poked it up in there and I could see all the antifreeze laying in that valley. So took the upper intake. Here's the upper. Disconnect the fuel injection rail, which is just a single line system. Lower intake. There's the lower intake. You don't have to take the injectors off. That stuff's fairly easy. You know, because there's no antifreeze that's going through that. Then I actually pressurized the system and I could see underneath that hose that there was some circulation going on. These are problems, but I've heard of them just leaking oil. I'm going to actually drain the rest of the antifreeze out of this right now and pull this oil cooler off for anybody that's getting antifreeze running down the back of their block on a 3.6 Pentastar. Could be the same thing I got. There's my little insulation piece. And there's the back, little foam insulator. And of course, the intake air tube. That's the best way to get the antifreeze out, I think. And these are the ports. There's a crack right here. As soon as I blow on it, you'll see the stuff blowing out. I can feel that air. <laughs> Put your fingers over it and blow the smoke in it. Oh, look at it. Yep. That's it. There's something cracked right along the edge of that. Good find. Shitty place to be. Hmm. It don't taste good either, does it? There's a fresh water in there. Got the new part. $300. Cleaned them up a little bit, but let's see if I can get them a little better. Got a new upper and lower gaskets. Pop these out. Put a little fine layer of grease on, pop them back in. Crisscross torque these. I should have put these on before I mounted that. I'm trying to rush for daylight. I'll just be extra, extra careful. I had a cap I put on my fuel line rail so I didn't lose a lot of fuels. Pop that back on, put my clip. I lost my keeper clip. I'm gonna have to find that. But I can get to that before I put the whole upper on. Now it's time to change these. Hmm, these are in still pretty good shape. Yeah. Should have done this while it was off, of course. Haste makes waste. All my grooves are cleaned out. I'm waiting for somebody to bring me coil packs from five hours ago. Welp. Had to run out to the auto parts store, go back into town, get the parts that someone was supposed to bring me. Now it's dark. Wasn't that hard of a job. So this video is for anybody else that has an oil leak running down their bell housing underneath or antifreeze. Chances are it's the oil cooler. 
Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want notifications on new videos. I have links for all of the products I use in the description and on MotorCheese.com. Thanks for watching.